Hello all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandramani Pandey and thank you very much for watching my other videos. In the last video, I showed you how to automatically create a macOS DMG application in Intune using a PowerShell script. In this video, I will show you how to automatically create a macOS PKG application in Intune using PowerShell. This process will help save you a lot of time by eliminating the need to manually identify detection logic for macOS PKG applications. For demonstration purpose, I will automatically create 5 different macOS PKG applications in Intune and then we will verify whether the applications are created successfully and we'll see if we can also automatically assign them to a test device for testing purpose. So let's see how to create a macOS PKG application automatically in Intune using PowerShell script. But before we begin, if you are new to my channel or haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also don't forget to like, share and leave your feedback in the comment section. So right now I am on my client machine and to create a macOS PKG application using PowerShell script, you have to download the PowerShell script. And I have already downloaded the PowerShell script and that is in my download folder. Let me open the PowerShell ISC as an administrator and open the PowerShell script. And I will also provide the link in the description section of this video. And then we have to update the user input section. In the user input section, we have to provide the 7-zip installed path location. We have to provide the group ID on which you want to deploy the application. And you also want to provide the install mode, whether you want to deploy that application in available mode, required mode, or you want to uninstall the application. So let's see how to update these user input section. So let's see how we can install the 7-zip application. So to install the 7-zip application, I have already provided you the link in the line number 19. You have to copy this. You have to go to the browser and you have to paste it. And then you have to download the application. Let me download the 7-zip 64-bit application. So this is one time activity, you have to do it and then install this application. And now application is installed, let me close this application and if you go to the C drive under program file, you have a 7-zip folder and in this folder you have to provide the 7-zip.exe file location. Let me copy this. Copy as path and update the script. So let me update this. And then you have to provide the group ID on which you want to deploy the application. So let me go to the Intune portal and go to the groups and find the group object ID. So I have already created a group called Mac OS PKG app testing group. Let me open this. And then we can find the object ID. Let me copy the object ID and then update the group ID. And then I'm okay to deploy this as an available application. Otherwise, you can also set as required or uninstall based on your requirement. Okay. And now we have to update the application which you want to deploy. So for now, for testing purpose, I have provided you five different application like first is Google Chrome, second one is Nextcloud, third one is Password, iPassword, and then Zoom and then Microsoft Teams. I will show you each application. So in the application one, we have to provide the application name, publisher name. We have to provide the app download URL. We have to provide the app logo download URL and we have to provide the app homepage. So this app 
download URL is basically a direct link, meaning that if you copy this URL and go to the internet and just paste it, you can see that it started downloading automatically, right? So we need that direct link. Same thing I have already provided for logo also. Let me copy this. And uh, go to the browser and we can see that the logo. So we need to find the direct link to download the application and direct link to download the PKG file. If you are not sure how to do that, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I can create a short video to show you how we can down find this information. And then once this is done, you can just select the entire script and then you can just click on run. Now it is going to install the required module if already not installed and then it is going to download the package as well as the logo file. Then it will extract the package and find the detection logic automatically using the script using 7-zip application and then it will also create the necessary information automatically and then it will upload the application in in tune using azure radiate.exe file and now we can see that it started downloading the google chrome pkg application as well as the logo file and now it's automatically find the detection logic for that application and now we can see that the GUID for that application is created in Intune portal. Content is also now encrypted. It is now going to upload the application in Intune using the Azure copy.exe file. And now we can this application content uploaded successfully in the Azure blob via AZ copy.exe now it started committing the file and then it is started uploading the logo then it is also started assigning the application and then it is going to remove the temporary files and folder now if you go to the intune portal and go to the apps and go to the mac mac os apps and now we can see that Google Chrome application automatically created in Intune portal using PowerShell script. We can see that here it is showing assign no, but it will take some time to update here. If you go to the Google Chrome, go to the properties, we can see all the information. Logo is also there. We can see that the detection logic and then we can also see that application is also showing as assigned on this particular group. So that's how you can create an Mac OS PKG application in Intune using PowerShell script. So let me show you for a few more examples. So let me go back and let me just comment the application one. and remove the hash from application two. And now you have to just select entire script and click on run. Now it is going to do the same thing for the next application. And now we can see that it started creating an application in Intune. We can see that the application GUID and it is going to upload the package using Azure AZ copy.exe file. And now application content uploaded successfully and now it started committing the file. And it's going to upload the logo and then assignment and then removing the temporary files. And now if we again go to the Intune portal, go to the Mac OS, refresh this. 
now we can see that next cloud application and if you click on that we can see that uh, this is assigned and then we can see that the package information we can also go and check the properties we can see the details logo as well as the detection logic and also assigned to the particular group let's create the third application so again we have to go to the user input section and then let me comment this and remove the hash from third application and select the entire script and click on run and now again it is going to perform the same action so basically when you are running this script it is creating a folder in the c drive in under the temp called mac pkg app creator and it is downloading all the information like this is the i password folder within that we have a logo folder in which a script is going to download the logo file then we have a source folder where it is downloading the setup file and then in the output folder seventh application is going to extract the content and it will find the detection logic using the uh, script let's go back now it's downloading the package and logo and now we can see that the download it automatically downloaded the package and the set logo file now it started finding the detection logic able to find the detection logic and then automatically created the application in the engine portal and now it started uploading the application and now we can see that the application content uploaded successfully it started committing the file and then it will upload the logo and then assign the application and then do the cleanup activity now if you go again in the engine portal and refresh the screen you can see the one password application created and we can see that it is also assigned package information is already uploaded and then if you go to the property we can see that the application name information url and everything i think there is some issue with the logo url that is why it is not able to upload the logo i will fix it and update the script and then here we can see that it is also showing assigned and then it is also detecting the detection logic automatically so now let's create the fourth application again we have to perform the same thing go back and in the user input section comment this all and remove the hash from the fourth application and and this time we are going to create a zoom application let's select entire script and click on run again it is going to perform the same step downloading the setup file and the logo and then it will extract the information from the package find the detection logic and then it will encrypt the application package then it will upload it in the intune portal using azure copy.exe file and then it will start committing the file and then update the logo and assignment and remove the file content we can see that the zoom application id is now created and it started uploading the content and now we can see that the content uploaded successfully for zoom application and now it started uploading the logo 
assigning the application and perform the cleanup activity and again if you go to the engine portal go to the apps now we can see that zoom application and it is also assigned version is also there and click on zoom we can see that package information properly updated go to the properties and logo is also there information url and all the information is already there detection logic is also there and application is also assigned now now let's quickly upload the fifth application so let me go to the input section and comment this application information and remove the hash from fifth application which is microsoft teams and again select the entire script click on run and now we can see that set of file and logo is also downloaded it started finding the detection logic app version and the bundle id and then we can see that the application GUID in engine portal is also created and now started uploading the content and now we can see that the content uploaded successfully and have started committing the file logo is also uploaded and the application is also signed and it is also uh, removed the temporary files and again if you go to the intune portal refresh the application now we can see that microsoft teams is also created in intune we can check the information like application is assigned we can also see that application package information we can go to the properties and validate the other things like we can see that logo we can see that information url we can see that a detection logic and we can also see that the application is assigned to the particular group this is how you can create any mac os pkg application in intune using powershell script automatically without even even manually finding the detection logic i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video